Cormack and Rhett, you have both said you don't think there's a first round tight end in this draft. Who are the first tight ends that are coming off the board as we get into round two? The first one I think will be off the board is Cole Komet from Notre Dame. And the only reason he's the first one off the board, I don't necessarily think that he's the best overall player, Mike. I think he's a guy that could more easily be able to play the Y and then and, and then would be able to move some. And they do throw the ball to him some. Adam Trotman from Dayton, keep your eye on this guy. Somebody's going to like him more than Cole Komet because of his future ability to develop in this league. And when you watch Dayton film, you see him do all the requisite things. And as a blocker, he's not the biggest, most massive guy, but he is a tenacious guy. Adam Trotman and Cole Komet are the two guys to me that are at the top of this list. Brad Hopkins, former left tackle of the Oilers and Titans, his son Bryson Hopkins, who who played at Purdue, is a guy that could be in that second round in there somewhere. And Hunter Bryant from University of Washington are also names there. Give me a sleeper tight end. Josiah DeGara from Cincinnati. He's a redshirt senior, 6'3", 245. He doesn't have super, super short area physical skills. He is a super duper competitor. This guy is a physical guy who could really, really do well with some weight room work in this thing. Josiah DeGara is a guy that's going to sneak up on some people in the middle rounds, and they're going to go, where did this guy come from? Dalton Keene at Virginia Tech, 6041, 253 pounds. He's a Colorado kid. He wore number 29 there, and you ask, how did he get to Virginia Tech? Well, his dad, you know, had played for Frank Beamer when Frank Beamer was coaching at Murray. When you watch tape and watch the way they use him, he's not a difference maker, but his athletic ability, Mike, and his competitive nature, and he's got roster flexibility. Those are very, very appealing. Now, to me, he projects more as a guy on the move, as an H-back. Mm-hmm.